here the QJ SSR booth, but I will start at the QJ motor uh, side. And let's start it with this scooter right here. It's called the QJ motor G2. So basically it's like a 125cc equivalent electric scooter. So this one has a mid drive engine with a 3 kilowatt hour motor and then it has a lithium ion battery. I'll just put it in the screen the kilowatt hour rating uh, on this battery capacity. So basically QJ Motor is a parent company of Benelli. There you go. Benelli, QA, and then SSR. I think SSR is only a US uh, US branding, but Benelli, everyone knows Benelli. And then of course the a keyway in Southeast Asia so this is the G2 and it looks nice it's very sleek but I don't it's not that practical because it, it has a very tiny pocket right there they should have put a wraparound pocket over here too but of course there's a grocery bag holder right there that snaps in and I don't think this one has a a reverse gear unlike some other Chinese bikes oh there you go there's your battery pack copy hole right there and there's your uh, compartment over here and I think this is the charging pack. style wise I like it actually it's it looks really unique but it's a little bit plain a little bit too plain for me they could have just made some some design elements here and there, but, but other than that, for those minimalist fans, oh yeah, they will they will like this style. So moving up, part of the electric line too is the Q2, and this is like their they're like a dirt bike, basically 125 cc dirt bike. So just like the the other electric bike that I covered, I think the Denzel Samurai or something. This is like a mountain bike or something. Even the tires looks like a mountain bike. But it's street legal because you have turn signals right here. But this is more like of a more like of a um, off-road centric dirt bike. Very minimalist, very dirt, dual dirt bike. It could be, a, I consider this as a dual sport because with a power to weight ratio like this, it's gonna be crazy. So this bike has a three kilowatt hour, just like the G2. And then also I'm gonna put the, the battery specs uh, on the screen. And then also the range on this one is 74 miles. Unlike the G2, it has only 40, almost 50 miles. The top speed is like around almost 50 miles an hour. So this is like heads already at some degree, but you can go sidewalks and stuff. <laughs> and then next one, we'll go back to the scooter line. And this is the VPS 50. I'm not gonna delve into this bike too much because it's only 50 cc. But here it is. Looks nice. I like the color combination of sky blue and uh, saddle, saddle seat, uh, saddle looking seats right there. Uh, this one has a 2.8 horsepower thumper. 50 cc so of course it's gonna go max out around 35 miles an hour next one is the 150 cc basically it almost has a similar size as the primavera 150 where some of the 150 cc scooters i sure this is a good commodity potential so this one has almost 14 horsepower so i forgot to mention the name this is the ltr 150 or you could call it lighter 150 by QJ 
So this is a little bit more practical. So you can see you have some more more compartments here. At least it's not. It doesn't look like a copycat. So the style is really nice. It's really easy on the eyes. It has an LCD screen and everything. And this is the black color, but it doesn't look black. It looks like yeah, it's a metallic black. It has a nice nice um, envelope right there. And I think in certain markets this is the turn signal. But here in the US this is the turn signal. It looks like it's not part of the black originally. So needless to say, it's a pitch Let's see if we can open the seat. Nope. Because there's no ignition. And also has a stop start system. It's pretty pretty genius in my opinion. And let's move to the more serious motorcycles here. So this was the SRT 750X. I think I covered this on one of my my bike videos, whatever. It looks like it's a good Benelli batch bike, but they're not gonna batch this as a Benelli. It's gonna be a QJ flagship bike, the 750. So basically, it aims against the middleweight motorcycles. It has a USB port. And let me give you the specs on this bike. This is the SRT 750X. The badging is similar to the Benelli TRK. So the specs is up to 71 horsepower, 75 horsepower, 754 cc, and six speed. But the dry weight is really heavy, 560 pounds. Oh my gosh, that's really big. I really heavy actually. But it looks nice. It has that BMW look, the gold cross spoke wheels right there. And I think when you get this bike, depends on the package, you might get the side casing too. I like the fact that they put reflective surface uh, stickers right here. That's pretty cool. The bag is made by Cheng Wei. And look at the gap. The gap on the between the exhaust and the wheels. It, I think that's a little too far. There's a huge gap right there too. Maybe they're trying to make the dual sport, dual sport look and everything like that. And I think this has 19-inch front wheel, so it's still an adventure touring bike. But putting the stickers like this is very good for safety, so you can see it at night, no problem. And this one has, of course, you got the, the controls right there, turn signals. And there you go, there's the SRT 750X, middleweight adventure bike. And the next one here is the 700cc SRK 700. You can make it a sport naked bike, a bike that can go against the, the usual SV650, the MT07 and the like. This bike has 70, 72 horsepower. I think I, I also covered this on my my bike videos, the ones that I put on the screen and you see my face and everything. The styling looks like a Kawasaki Z1000. It really looks like a Z1000, especially from the front. But, I'm gonna test ride this bike one day, hopefully. And there's a the standard TFT gauge right there. Uh, 
I don't know if QJ will enter the Philippine market, but they might rebatch this as a. It's not going to be a rebatch as Benelli. It's, it's too modern looking for Benelli. So, yeah, it's, it's based on the SR700 engine. And unlike the other motorcycle manufacturers here, um, QJ doesn't have the the usual unit number mumbo jumbo. Yeah. And there's the SRK700 right there. The next one is you might mistake in this look as the Leoncino 500, but nope, this is the SRV 550. This yeah, one has so almost that. 50 I mean, horsepower, sure. 550 <laughs> cc sure. retro looking bike. As you can see, even the gauge cluster is so reminiscent to the Benelli line. And the good thing about this, it has a USB plug right there. So they thought almost everything here. Yeah, as you can see, this is where support the Benelli bag is supposed to be. But QJ said, nah, we'll do our own. Which is, well, uh, they, own, they own Benelli, so they can do whatever they want. And this is, uh, well, there's a generic looking badging right there. SRV 550 doesn't match the whole, the rest of the bike, despite how how cool looking it is. And then that's it for the SRV 550. The silhouette of this micro moto, the SRF 135. You might think that this is the Benelli TNT 135 without the double piping on the side, the uh, MB Augusta looking piping, but this is basically the same as the Benelli 135, but with a TFT gauge. I think that's the only one that has this. I don't know if the Papio 125 has the same uh, gauge cluster. I'll put in the screen on top. And even the rear end reminisces quite like the TNT 135 and I think this is where the Benelli badge is at but this one has TFT gauge and the headlight design is far different than the, T the uh, platform made 135 so just to let you uh, know the specs it's 11 horsepower 135 cc mini uh, Micromoto that can they'll compete against the Z125, the Grom, the Muki, Benelli's own, uh, QJ's own Benelli one, TNT 135. If they undercut the price, this might be a winner, in my opinion. But time will tell. And then, time to get serious. This is the this is the pair of the 400. The QJ400 series, formerly known as the 302 from Benelli. As you can see, that badging, that's supposed to be Benelli right there. Same goes on the other one. So this is the SRK400 double R. What's up with the double R? BMW has it, Honda has it, whatever. So this is the sport bike version. And this is the naked bike version, the SRK400. They should also put it SRK400S or something. So the specs, basically almost similar, just a little tweaks here and there. So this SRK400 it has almost 41, 41 horsepower, while this one is 44 horsepower. And they're both Philippine toll road ready 400cc motorcycles. They're formerly known as the Benelli 302S, but they made a new engine, the 400cc. And let's see the 
details of it. It also has a USB plug, so you can put your your phone here with a stem mount right there. And it has a TFT cage. Pretty cool for a 400 cc bike. I want to I want to taste test this at least or snack test the track for the, with this. Pretty cool looking. Um, I don't know if there's a, a different color option for this. Oh, there's gray, orange, and white and blue. Okay. There you go. So that's the double R, and then the regular SRK 400. This is the naked bike version. Also has the TFT gauge, but I don't know if it has a USB plug here. See the 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 frame color reminisces the the 302 or 502s here. Yeah, it really looks like a Benelli, but the badge is their own. So. Yeah, I don't see a USB plug on this model. Pretty odd. Pretty odd. That's it for the SRK 400. And last but not the least, there's rumors that this is going to be badged as a Harley Davidson. This is the SRV 300. Unfortunately, 300 cc's in the Philippines is a dead market. Between 250 to 350 is a dead market in the Philippines. But for here in the United States, right, this will work. This basically competes against a Rebel 300. The V Star 250 and the like. Since uh, Harley and QJ had made a deal of building a small cruiser bike, and unlike other posers like the like the Rebel 300, this SRV is a real V twin engine. Like V twin, not even an L engine. As you can see, the way it looks, it's a real. V twin and real enough belt drive. See that belt drive. This is so Harley Davidson. I think just remove the QJ badging on this and put the the shield, the Harley shield. You can you can mistake this as a Harley. Oh, there's a plug right there. USB plug on the side. It's nice. So this is the SRV 300 S. As you can see, there's an S right there. It doesn't say on the it doesn't say on the uh, the brochure right there. So this is a 30 30 horsepower 296 cc V twin. It's really, but it, this is a water cooled, liquid cooled V twin. Going to I hope I can review this bike. Actually, I wish I could. I hope I can review all of these bikes because QJ is a major player back in his homeland. And since I covered the ones that needs to be covered, the street street side, based on viewers' request, that he wants me to cover SSR. Too bad they don't have the SSR street street bikes here but they got the side by sides right here and this is the bison 400 it's a long wheelbase work work style side by side and there's another one bison ev so this is electric it's a short wheelbase electric side by side right here so so the rear end is a hybrid system you can turn it into a passing, convert it to a passenger or a flatbed. I mean, look, look at you can go right on the axle. There's there. <laughs> so this is the Bison five, uh, 500. This is the 500 new, and this is the 50 EV. So this is the gas engine, and of course, this is the uh, Electric. So yeah, SSR QJ booth.
On to the next hey, one.